last time on Couple. Well, we went the wrong way. Focus. Kristen and Jeff hit some bumps in the road. I'm the eyes on the road. You're the eyes on the map. Kristen is very bossy. I have to watch the road, so you need to navigate. I did not feel that. He was helping me whatsoever. Michelle broke up with Ben. Ben, I'm not, we're not in it. We're not vibing. We're not romantic. And went back to the bungalows. I'm okay. <laughs> but before Ben could be sent home, Lisa approached him. I'm not really that into Taylor. I'm into you. If you think you have a connection with her, bro, I think that you guys should explore that. Taylor went home and Ben and Lisa coupled up. Back at the bungalows, Michelle, Michelle had a surprise reunion with her ex and their son. <laughs> That's so beautiful. This is a second chance. We know that we're right for each other. love story was that we just experienced. The way that he always pursued Michelle. Yeah. I'll never stop pursuing her. That's the most romantic thing ever, you know? Hashtag oh, baby yeah. goals, guys. Right. Baby yeah. goals. I'm ovulating for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. The leaves are starting to pick up a little bit. Wait, can I hear it? In the yard. Love it. Love it. Love is definitely out there, and I'm really excited to meet the next guy. I see a touchdown. Yep. Do you see him? I'm like, y'all, I'm using my good eyes. Like, I am a hopeless romantic, and I do believe in fairy tales and happily ever after. You just have to have faith in the process, and it will come through. <laughs> It's a pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. How you feeling, man? I'm ready. I'm I ready. love the look. It's windy. Before we blow away, let's get to it. All right, man. I want to show these women the old school American boy next door. I'm getting really successful in my career um, as a model and getting successful as a real estate agent as well in Miami. I want to be in a strong, deeper relationship than normal. And usually it's very surface for me recently. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Where do you live, Liv? Uh, I live in Miami right now. Okay. So what are you looking for in a lady? I want like a really cute girl. Okay. And sweet. I'm looking for a sweetheart. It's so funny that, you know, most guys will say all these other things. You're the first one that just admits, I want someone that looks good. Yeah. And I want to be sweet. Yeah, man. Well, this part of it is all about that initial chemistry, all right? The ones that want to get to know you better are going to make a right, and they'll meet you at the Tiki Bar. Okay. Then go down to the Tiki Bar, and you'll get to decide the two that you want to get to know even better okay. by taking them back to the dopest villa you've ever seen, brother. I'm excited. All right? That's sick. I'm feeling good about that. All right? Ladies are going to eat you up, all right? All right, man. Grab a seat. All get right. to work, baby. Thanks, Terrence. I'm absolutely looking for a relationship. I think every guy always is. Even if they don't admit to it, I think we're all looking for that special one. Hello! Hi. Tyler. Alyssa. Alyssa, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Come hang out on my deck. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. Wow. I think it's easy to be physically attracted to Tyler, but I don't know how old he is. He might be a lot younger than me. So <laughs> where did you fly in from? Miami. Oh, nice. What do you do there? Uh, well, I am a model with so Wilhelmina. Oh, You're a model, really? Oh, yeah. I'm in L.A. <laughs> okay. I have an idea. How do you feel about a walk-off? Like we're going to be competing? So yes. I don't want to like run no. you off the stage. Oh, 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 let's do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> She's awesome. All right. Oh, oh. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> trying to remember how you finish this. It's like... Yep. Like that? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> like Tyler. He is so much fun. <laughs> that was a good walk off. I liked it. She didn't ask how old I was, so that's good. That means that I am the cougar in this scenario. So be it. So modeling, huh? I 
I could have guessed that. Yeah, um, I'm also in real estate. Okay. And I'm a teacher as well. Oh, a um, special education students, oh elementary. God. I can't Yeah, specialized so in elementary. Wait, uh, I need a moment. <laughs> Alicia is hot. If I'm basing off looks, probably like a hard nine and a half. And I don't give out tens for anybody. Oh my God. Please go right. Please go right. <laughs> Tell me, what's one thing you can't live without? I would probably say my family. I like put them first in front of almost everything. How about you? What's one thing? Um, I would say music. Music? Yeah. Can you sing? Ah, uh, sometimes. In the shower? Yeah. Cars? Yeah. Windows down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We connected instantly and he made me laugh. Laughter is very important to me. How old are you? I'm 24. Oh, me too. You're 24? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John! <laughs> I worked for the Portland Trail Blazers. No way, were you yeah. a or like, were I you like... I wish, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I was like, your body and everything, I was like, you must have been like a Thank dance you. or something. You know, dance a little bit? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Sweet. How are you doing? I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. Nice Tyler. to meet you. Tyler, yeah. hi. Wow, you have pretty eyes. Thank Looks like you. super green. Yeah, I've got like kind of hazel, hazel, like a mixture. Same hazel. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think we literally have the same eye color. It's really similar, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've already established we make really beautiful babies, so that's good. Yes, that is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is my man. <laughs> I actually want to stay living in the South, like um, my... I love the South, 100%. Yeah. yeah, that's where I want to raise a family, that's where yes. I want to stay living. Tyler and Alex, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to stand here. Okay, got it. Stand in front of me. Sloths yeah, are my okay. favorite animal. So I have to give you a sloth <laughs> hug, okay, so you have to hold me. All right. You going to come right here? This is a sloth hug. <laughs> You're so sweet. Well, I would just like to formally invite all of America to my wedding. You can carry me over the threshold like this, okay? You want to go? All right, yeah. Go. All right, we'll all right. Alex, obviously. <laughs> I just wanted to like love hug him forever. I am smitten. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Guys, I'm drunk on love. Oh, yay! <laughs> I am so excited. I could die. I think it's going to be an extremely difficult decision if there's more than two. Every single girl that came and met me, they're all gorgeous. We all had chemistry. It's going to be really hard. Oh so whoever God. he ends up with, lucky lady, because he's, he's the full package. He's a good catch. <laughs> I don't think anybody hopes not. <laughs> hey, there he is. There he oh, hi. Every single girl is sitting there. Cha-ching. So you guys are all here. All <laughs> I, feel, here. I feel extremely lucky, actually. This is insane. I didn't think everyone was going to say yes. So it looks like I have to choose. I can't have like six in one house. <laughs> it would be so much more fun if you could take all of us. Hefner can do it. Why can't I do it? You know? <laughs> if I am not picked, I am ripping these eyelashes off. The extensions are coming out. I'm done. Tyler is by far my favorite, even more than BT. More than like 10 BTs. Like, I like him. This is really hard. Uh... So you guys are all here. <laughs> so it looks like I have to choose. This is really hard. Uh... Alex? <laughs> oh, I want to get to know you more. Yes! Woo! Okay. Um, next. Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like Alicia is kind of a charmer. I mean, let's talk about, like, how gorgeous she is. She's got these big boobs, tiny waist, big butt, like, cute little voice, and it's up and I'm like, are you kidding me? This is like some steep competition. Sorry, Thank sorry. you. All right. I'm so Seriously, how much fun are they going to have? I mean, so I know. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to pick me, to be honest. I was hoping he would. I'm excited, but Alex is thrilled. 
bucket list for a while now and so we got a sunny day and Lindsay and I took to the courts and had some fun <laughs> that was actually a tremendous shot <laughs> and she was great very enthusiastic and active and I find that super attractive and we stretch each other out don't be shy oh my gosh <laughs> this is like not supposed to be like this <laughs> With Alex and I, like, my main focus is him, and I want to embrace this experience, but, like, at the end of it, I really want to know, like, if he wants to continue to date me when we go back home. Bend your knee. <laughs> mm. We have a great thing going, which is why it's so nerve-wracking for me, because that's hard to find. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> <laughs> I think all the couples here are pretty solid. I think BT and Ashley have a great connection. BT is like love sprung already. TT and Brandon have an amazing relationship. They're super cute together. You're lucky I like you. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might be. I might be kind of lucky. Ben and Lisa, I really admire their honesty with each other. They stay true to who they are. But Kristen and Jeffrey, I don't know. That's not really gelling with those two. Do you feel a disconnect as far as communication goes? I just felt like we were supposed to be navigator. When I was driving yesterday to the shopping excursion, it was my impression that Jeff was going to be navigating. But I did not feel that. He was helping me whatsoever. So right now you look like you've been getting mad about it. I'm like, I don't understand what the big deal is about it. I thought you were navigating. So my trust was in, I thought you would help assist me in where we were going. I started to have the feeling that maybe our personalities are clashing. I didn't think anybody should be scolded about the situation. We're I'm not there scolding and anybody. And we're fine, so. That's it. I still have no idea what trust has to do with a man. <laughs> we gotta show you the ropes. <laughs> We're your Barbie tour guys. Ridiculous stuff. I like the all white. I'm ready to go into the villa and see if something can flourish from it. They've been alone for a while. They might jump me. You never know what'll happen. Um. Do you like super girly girl, or do you prefer like a little tomboy? I like a girly girl that is capable of all tomboy things. Adventuring, like snowboarding, water skiing, I don't know, shooting guns maybe, or like... Oh. I will go to the gun range with you any day, and the girl that I live with actually, uh... Hey, my turn. <laughs> this actually, is awkward. Well, when I, got... I don't want you guys to think you guys are friends. I definitely felt like Alicia was kind of trying to dominate the conversation. I felt like I was being talked over a lot. Like, That's all what she needed was dark lip liner. I was supposed to like do my eyebrows and my lip liner, I swear. And I was like, okay, I guess we got some competition here. There's five love languages. There's words of affirmation, physical okay. touch, quality time, gift giving, and acts of service. Physical touch and acts of service. That's what you think you are? Yeah. Well, if that's the case. I know, we're like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alex will stay. I agree. I know that I want Alex to be the one that is staying, uh -huh. but Alicia is a tough competitor. I think it will be interesting to see who comes back. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. 
This is the first guy that I come here with knowing I want. 110%. No, he wanted BT. Yeah, so very I didn't come here with him. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most do you like, and like, I would be like a 20. Like, like over the charts. So, like, if that puts it in perspective for you, that's how I feel. I don't know, I just don't want to feel like guilty or bad knowing you're so into this. I'm in a tough spot. What am I supposed to do? It's my personality type is to like appease to others and make someone else comfortable rather than putting myself first. I haven't ever met anyone that's like my personality type, like wants to stay living in the South. Like uh, I feel like really good about it. If he's feeling more feelings for you, then I encourage that. Yeah. Really? No, I want him to be with whoever he feels like is the right person. Felicia thinks that, you know, she can get any guy that she wants at any time, so she knows that, like, well, if I, if I hold back a little bit, then that'll give you a chance. But that is insulting. If you're so sure this is the man you're going to marry, I need to hear the words, though, Alex. No comment. What? What do you mean, no comment? Let the game begin, Alicia. Ultimately, your decision came down to chemistry or compatibility. What's it? And do you know that? A like, mix of both. Um, I felt chemistry with you and Alex the most. Tyler is a catch, and I really like him. I really do. There he is. There's the little one. But knowing how sure Alex was about Tyler, I wanted to back off. Did you have some alone time? Have fun. I don't want to be in the way of the moment, so I left. <laughs> It's not bad. Ooh, it's nice. Yes. Oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you how nervous I am at this point. Mm. Amazing. That's strong. In this situation, it's uncomfortable for me. I feel like I have to step out and pursue him because otherwise, Alicia will steal him. I just don't want you to have boob vision. Boob vision. <laughs> she does have good boobs, but I mean, I'm, I, I'm haven't seen her, I haven't seen her without a push-up bra, so I don't even know how that rolls. You guys say the same thing about me. I'm aware. I've seen my fair share of boobies. <laughs> I just don't want him to be distracted by her beauty and her figure. She's intimidating. She's a beautiful girl. Can I just tell you, like, this is the first time that this has happened to me. Like, I'm like, I genuinely like the guy that I'm here with. Like, everyone else, I'm like, well, I'll see. Like, with Ben, I was like... I'm glad because this is my first day here. And I really like you a lot. So... Can I make it worth it for you? Yes, I think that worth it. Oh, yeah? Alex is so sweet. Her confidence was up, and it was good. You are so forward. Don't I have to be in this situation? I guess not. I liked everything about the hot tub situation. I'm not arguing at all. <laughs> I'm just setting up. I think you're too hot in the hall. It's too cold outside. That's really cool. I think you're just hiding from Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to sneak off to the couple's villa and spend time with my girls. I'm here with Alex and this guy who she swears she's going to marry. So oh. I'm like, what do I do? What's his name? His name is Tyler. Okay. Super cute, but she's claiming she's about to marry this guy. So I'm about to back off and just... Does she, but does he seem into you or into her more? Why are you going to do that point? What if he chooses you? I don't think he will. I mean, I'm going to turn... I'm not even turning on the, like, flirt at all. I'm going to keep it very... Show and, um, Maybe I'll get with him next. Please. Have you ever thought about that? Sometimes you have to go for what you want. Of course. And not be so given or not so. I think all the girls can agree though. Like we weren't expecting to develop 
the friendships we did. You have one purpose here, and that's to find love. You're not actually going for that right now. You're more of keeping all the women happy. You didn't come here to build any type of other relationship with anybody. And it seems like you're not really putting forth the effort like you should. You're a beautiful woman. You're a beautiful person. I spent some time with you, you, and you deserve that. So that's my advice. It's been so therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the couple's zone. I'm going to go back and turn it on then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Get over here, Selena. I'm the Selena's. I've seen how much the couples over at the couple's villa have learned. Thank you for what you said. I really appreciate oh, that's it. Real. I want love. I want a relationship. I want that feeling. And I'm willing to take it. I will enjoy my time with Tyler. I'm not going to just completely sabotage it. Bye, everyone. to look a little fake. You made it very clear what you want. You told me how you feel about this person. So what do you want your big sister to do? Oh, and back don't up. That way. Like, but how come I can't help it? You cried because you were heartbroken over BT, so I brought you breakfast in bed. You're feeling a certain way about him, so I want to cater to you, Alex. No. So it's no different now. Alicia kept putting down Alex and calling her out on like sensitive things right in front of me over and over again. I'm like, stop trying to make her look bad. Don't take offense to this, but I take more time to say, <gasps> I really like this person. The way that you said it about him, like not even an hour ago. We've known him for less than six hours. You don't have to keep saying it like that. I feel like Alicia is playing dirty right now and I am not about this life. I hate that stuff. I'm very happy for the kiss. Like, I, trust me, I left so that could happen, y'all. Like I was like, for Alex, let's do this. I did that for you. I think you're being unfair. With that being said, I still want to move forward and like hang out tomorrow. Like, this is no awkward zone for me. She's handling this like she's 15. Night. All right, good. Night. But hopefully tomorrow she just stops freaking out and just goes back to being an adult. Please don't text all the girls what's going on. I'm not. I'm just reading. <sighs> there's like two sides to every story but it's like i hate to say this but i feel like elise is bullying her to a certain extent but i just think how things are handled really says a lot about someone's character i love them both but i think as women you know we shouldn't really be tearing each other down like i feel like to hear that like, claws are coming out like it just it really kind of just pisses me off to be you know to be frank Something, people. Oh no. Uh -oh. Okay. Wow. What's an intimacy retreat? I don't know. Sounds like a nudist camp. 
<laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I have no idea what Tantra is or anything like that, but I'm open-minded to it. I can't wait to see what it's like. I'm so excited to see what's in store for us today. I'm excited to tantric you up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. How exciting to do this class and connect on a more intimate level and take it back with us to the villas. Namaste. Namaste. Today we're going to take a journey into intimacy. Tantra is one of the few practices that says, well, you can actually find that kind of spiritual growth by coming together as a couple. I feel a little bit nervous. I haven't really connected that much with Kristen. So to be thrown into a situation where we have to be intimate, I don't really know what's going to happen. So we're going to do a few exercises today. So you're going to face your partner and you're going to gaze into each other's eyes. They say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Let down your mask and allow that person to come in through your eyes. And just be present with yourself and present with your partner. Coming into this, we were probably both outside of our comfort zone, but I think at the end of the day, that helps you to get, you know, closer together. Definitely gives us a better appreciation for each other. Mm -hmm. Allow the inner dialogue to be there, but beyond the physical. I got to look about as deep as I've ever had into someone. And it actually ended up being really nice. I'm looking forward to my date with Tyler. And I need to go into this kind of selfishly. I'm really going to give this a fair shot, regardless of the whole Alex situation. I have been saving my little red dress for a while, but I felt like today it was it, it was time. It's time to bring it out. Ooh, look how nice this is! Holy crap! Isn't this beautiful? I'm really excited to go into my first day with Alicia because I want to stop this whole trio craziness. Women are extremely competitive with men. One thing you need to know about me is I don't compete. Oh, yeah? I don't compete for a man. Because you just win, he does not even No, 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 not even that. Like, for example, last night I knew what needed to go down because she expressed that she wanted that. What so needed bad. to go down? She wanted it. Whereas for me, I'm just like, I want to get to know someone. How long was this makeout session? Was it like a few minutes or was it like it was, um, a good 20 minutes? A solid three seconds, then 20 more minutes of conversation, then another peck, and then oh, that's it. five more minutes of conversation. Yeah, I'm telling, you, oh, I'm telling you how it went. And then a solid 10 seconds for the longest one. If you would have gotten your butt in the hot tub, I bet we would have had a moment as well. It's just the atmosphere of the hot tub. No. Let's take a selfie, because it's good lighting. It's really good. Is yeah, it good? You look good. You look yeah, good. you look so handsome. My day with Alicia was pretty amazing. A combination of sushi, Moscato, red dress, overlooking the ocean. Pretty no-brainer. Good time. me to be insecure. I feel like she emits sex appeal. What if he picks her? Because he's a man. Let's face it, that's normal. He's going to pick the sexier girl. <laughs> he is so perfect for me in every single way. I can't even tell you. And I feel like she's taking advantage of that. And for whatever reason, she wants to win. And I don't know if that's the competitive pageant side of her, but this is my real life. This is me sincerely trying to find a husband. But it's hard when you have someone that looks like Jessica Rabbit as your main competition. <laughs> this is aura massage. Your hands are gonna be like a brush or like a comb. And you're gonna like clean off their aura. Dust it off. Allow all of the debris in your aura to just go down into the earth. I'm tired. I didn't really get no sleep last night. And I kind of wanted to release energies some other ways. There you go. Okay. I have no idea what's going through Brandon's head right now, you know? I feel the disconnect of energy. 
it's a little discouraging. It's just kind of ironic that we're supposed to be in this great space together and connect on a different level. And unfortunately, right now, we're not in the same space. I don't know if this is quite our activity. So is it something I did? Well, thank you guys so much for coming. It was really a pleasure to meet you. God bless you and namaste. 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 Thank you, Peter. What's going on? I'm just chilling. It's like weird. I'm like so confused. I don't know if the distance is because of me or something he's going through. It just seems like he doesn't want much to do with me right now. I knew my energy wasn't good. and. So it was just like a waste of time to me. I didn't, I didn't really get nothing out of it. You know, I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to complain. I just wanted to get through it. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just like, like I feel rejected. I don't know why you're disconnected from me. Like I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Just it's taking me back to things like my dad. Like he just like left. There's no explanation. I don't know why he's not in my life deal with things I did with my dad, he just sort of left. You know, I never really knew why he left, why he didn't want to be in my life. And this is hurtful for me because you don't really know what you did. So for me, it's taking me back to that place. It's just hard to be here and try to connect with you on that deeper level. And I feel like it's not working. to you. Um, I know my energy was whack today. You definitely didn't deserve, you know, to, you know, feel that vibe from me. I didn't mean for that to happen. I really care for TT, and I want to make it work, and I believe we can make it work. I just want to let you know that I understand that that was my fault. You know, I want to continue to, to build our relationship and continue to be there for each other. You know? I love who you are. Like, I missed it today and your energy him not being present like he usually is opened my eyes to how much I really care about him. And I just want us to go back to where we were. You know, I, I believe we're giants. This is a small thing to giants. And then let's just put it in the past and chalk it up as something that, you know, we overcame. You'd be willing to do that? Would you be willing to do that for real? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And do like tantra hug? <laughs> I felt you on that tantra hard too. We gotta do the tantra hard. I'm glad I have you back in my arms. Hey, party people. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? This has been excellent. This villa is gorgeous. What do you feel about this guy? What do you think? I was pleasantly surprised. Really? Yeah. Alex. Karen. You're back. I'm so back. How many times is this for you? <laughs> Same as Alicia. Three, Three. times. Yeah. You two are, I, I think, our most selected girls. You guys fly off the show. <laughs> how was uh, how was this experience different for you? Night and day. Really? So much better. In what way? Good like, way, bad I way. I actually really like this guy. You like this guy? I like this guy. OK, let's go upstairs and let's talk about it. Uh, I'm going to borrow him. Upstairs we go. If Tyler ends up picking Alicia over me, I feel like there's going to be like a war scene. Like all the girls from the bungalows are just gonna be running towards the villa, like, eh, 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 like war paint, like, no. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling kind of scared of reactions. <laughs> scared of reactions? Why? Yeah. I just hate breaking a girl's heart. What do you like about Alicia? Alicia, man, she is super hot. She's by far the hottest girl that was in the group to choose from, but Alex is freaking awesome, so. Tell me about Alex. First time I met her, she was she made me giggle so fast, and she's not scared to say anything. Hmm. It's just silly and cute every time we're together, so. Really? Would either one of those girls, do you see the potential in a, in a real long-term um, thing? Yes, I would say both. Really? I see, I say long term with both. Listen, nobody can write the storybook of your life but you. I wish you the hey. best of luck on your decision, man. 
I hope it goes all right. You will. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be all fine. Right, man. Take a deep breath. All right, I'll see you around. All right. doing good i feel horrible having to choose one so i'm gonna do this in the best way possible i thought that would be one at a time so i'll just talk to alicia first and then i'll be right back to talk to you okay let's go inside and then uh yada 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 on our date everything turned around i certainly wasn't expecting to be blown away like i was i was like wow i hope this guy picks me all right, so I brought you out alone because I didn't want to do the whole awkward part of it. So I chose you. You chose me? <laughs> yeah, I really did. Really? Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Okay, so you wait right here, and I'm gonna go drop the news to Alex. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> These are taking long enough. Yeah, no kidding. My heart poop is about 500 <laughs> times waiting on your ass. I uh, I just had to like talk to her okay. and do it separately, so it was easier this way. Okay. And overall, I chose Alicia. Okay, I know you're gonna be really upset, and I'm upset because it really did suck. When I said I was compatible with you 100%, I meant it 100%. And I I just I didn't even know what to decide because yesterday you were my choice, and then today she like just step it up to a point where she like showed herself a lot more it was just a hard hard decision hopefully i don't regret it but uh, i think it might work i think it might work with her all right come here thank you so much all right all right bye, bye. tyler was my guy I wish I would have known like what I could have done differently. If there was something like I, you know, I wish that you could have given me that. We're couples now. We're a couple. This is kind of weird. At the end of the day, I just had to go with my heart, my gut. I chose Alicia because she dropped that gorgeous, great personality, connected on several different levels. Really? Wow. I finally found someone that I think I can like look forward to dating and it's exciting. Congratulations. I'm glad that Alicia decided to not give up, you know, with Tyler because I think that they're great together. I'm happy to see them just, you know, having fun with it all. This is to the new couple. We wish you all the best. Cheers. Cheers. what's going on right now. That's what is the most frustrating part for me. the most frustrating part. And I'm so pissed because if it's what she was saying last night, basically painting me as a stage five clinger and all this crap that she was saying, if any of that is the reason that he made his decision, it'll be so hard for me to ever forgive her. It's not even about her, it's about him. It's about him not being able to see through all of that. Given everything you just said, yeah. He's not the guy for you. Well, you guys are the girls for me. 
romantic for me that means a lot of things like that you're very perceptive that you listen that you go out of your way to make somebody feel special and show them that you care all right jeffrey are you actually here to find love i'm here to find love hmm. i'm mean, feeling like he's here more for himself than like as like a vacation than to actually find love okay if she really wanted to talk to me, you can talk to me. But she chose to call me out in front of a huge group of people. I'm regretting my decision to be with Kristen. Next time on Couple, Alex and Alicia have it out. Alicia just texted me, wait a second. Have you gone above and beyond for this girl? So, I'm pissed. And then, at this point, I'm interested in anyone over Kristen. <laughs> The tension between Jeffrey and Kristen boils over. I'm not a child. You're speaking to me as if I'm a child, I'm and not. it's unnecessary. It's very annoying. Wow. And another chopper brings the biggest surprise yet. What is going on right now? What? Ah! <laughs> 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 